1980 Rolls Royce Silver Spirit, 6.75 carburetor car. This one with it being an early Spirit one, 1980. 34,271 miles showing on the clock on this. So 31,000 miles on the clock. James and I are going to go through the nice amount of paperwork we've got for it to try and verify that. So please look on the website. Once we've done all that, we'll put all the information on the website about the mileage. It's a nice, honest, level-looking spirit, this. Probably quite biased to these because they are the sort of thing we like here. Especially when they're like this one. Nice and honest, nice and straight. Not been a wedding car, not been clearly messed around with, and uh, obviously been well looked after on those miles as well. But like I said, we're going to verify the mileage on the website, so please bear that in mind. Bodywork wise, I'm going to start off on the grill, work our way around this gorgeous spirit into the interior, and then we're going to fire it up into life. So, straight up the bonnet, loving straight, no big dings or dents. I would like to think it's had a paint job at some point, and if it has, it's been done well. There's no bit of dust in the paint. There's one or two little sort of bird poo tree sap marks. If this was mine, I'd be giving it a very gentle polish. I think it has been, uh, had little use for a couple of years. There's a little bit of engraved dirt here and there, which would, again, nice a nice, a nice hot bath would sort all that out. Across the lights, nice and tidy. Grills all intact, all loving straight. All nice and tidy. Some very, very light scratching where it's been washed, but no heavy pitting, no dings or dents to the fins on the grill. The corners are all good, the light's nice and straight, the bumper corner is nice on the right hand uh, left hand side, sorry there. All nice and tight across the front and the lower valance, lovely and straight all the way across there onto the right hand side. Again, headlights nice and clear, no cracks in that there. Chrome works good across the top there. All lovely and level across the front end. One or two little bird poo marks that I say, but a good polish would see some of that away. We've got the twin blue code sign stripes down the side there nice and tidy across the arch maybe a little bit of service on that inside lip if you went around the lip there you can see a little bit but it's right on the inside lip there nice matched painted hubs all the way around on the chrome hubcaps for the white walls across the lower half of the sill section nice and tidy up the wing hubbing straight around the indicator around the aerial no nastiness there. I've got one car parking stone chip there on the right hand side front door. Around the mirror is good. Across the top there, a little bit of bubbling. And around the, the handle, I've got a tiny little bit, pretty standard spirit and Bentley of this era. Issues with the alley rash there, but it's not bad at all. It is still underneath the paint. Across the roof, nice and straight again. One or two little bird poo marks across there, but a good polish would see some of that away. Back down that right hand side onto the rear door, and again, you've got. One and two underneath the paint again, a little bit at the front, but again, it is underneath the paint. Around the handle's nice, back edge of the door is all good. Onto the rear quarter and arch. Around the arch, no corrosion coming through around the arch, but again, a little bit starting on the inside lip. But it is a nice lip when you run your hand around it. It's nice and crisp, it's not air. Uh, it's not really thick and nasty. Around the arch there. All nice and tidy. A little bit of surface starting on the painted circle on the hub. Underneath the rear window, nothing on the right hand side. And again, nothing on the left hand side. That is a Newcastle specialist there. It has come from Scotland, this car. But it's obviously been in the northeast at some point. Rear lights are nice and clear all the way across. Nice and level across the whole back end. Nothing around the badge there, around the lock. Back bumper seems to be all okay. Once the trim come away a little bit but that's pretty standard again nice and tidy onto the left hand side i'll show you that lower valance there so you can have a, a good look at that because they normally rot away seems to be all nice and presentable down there as well paintwork on the boots nice and flat as well all nice and straight and tidy coming round and down the left hand side fuel filler caps good a little bit of fade to the paint there just on the lip so it's sort of this strip there Around the arch, again, no corrosion coming through around the arch. Across the lower half of the sill section, nice and tidy. Up onto the rear door, all good. A little bit around the handle, no big chips on the back edge of the door or across the door top. A little bit towards the front there, onto the left-hand side front door. A little scratch at the front around the handle. A bit towards the back, around the lock's good. Wing mirror is nice as well. 
as you come down the front wing, wing tops all nice and straight and level. Match twin blue coat tight stripes with a little bit of corrosion just starting at the bottom of the arch on that left hand side. Sitting nice and level this one. I have had it down the road to check the brakes. The brakes are nice. The pedal's all there, it doesn't go to the floor, although it wants a little bit of a tube again. I think it's been sat a little bit, might have some old fuel in it. It does accelerate all right, but it's a little bit, a little bit of hesitation there on the throttle, but the brakes are all good. More importantly, that's where the money is on these. Onto the door, nice and tidy on the door cap there. I think the caps have been done at some point, so they're not bad, they're not as shiny as they normally are. The dashboard's lovely though. All the way across the dash, no nastiness at all there. The steam wheel's in fantastic condition as well. But if that mileage is correct, the wheel should be like that. No cracks in the dash top at all. All nice and straight. A very, very dark blue interior. We have got a bit of wear on the driver's seat there, which you can't see, but it's nice and soft. Bit of wear to the armrest. Chrome's all okay. Navy blue front mats there. Headlining, all tear, rip free there. A little bit of a mark above the driver's head there again door card on the rear nice and tight on the door card a little bit of wet the grab handle the seat again it's all nice and soft it wants a it wants a little bit of recolonizing in there but it's all nice and tidy you've got the footrest with the over mats in the back all nice and straight in there into the boot lovely and tidy in the boot carpet they're not normally like that boot carpet's lovely and straight no burns rips tears or battery acid anywhere like they normally are Left hand side of rear door, again door cards nice and tidy, no rips or tears to that there, chrome works good, the rear bend seats all lovely and straight, a little bit of wear to the piping, but all nice and tidy across there but it just wants a little bit of softening on that there, no rips, bits or tears, a little bit of wear to the back, I think at some point that's been sat against the pillar. And then on to the passenger front, again nice and tidy on the door card, dashboard's lovely all the way across. And we have got some wear to that passenger seat there. A little bit of discoloration on the lower half, which you can clearly see. Nice dark blue carpet set. And then into the engine bay there. So it's the 6.75 twin carb car, same as what you find in the shadows. James is going to fire it up into life. Even in the reverse side. They're not normally like that on these. There. Taking over. Nice and happy there. And there you have it, the 1980 Rolls Royce Silver Spirit early car showing low miles. Again, we're gonna we're gonna detail all that in the advert there. I believe we've got quite a few MOTs and stuff there, so we're gonna go through that and we'll detail all that. If it will verify, the, verify this mileage even better, but even not, what a nice, straight, honest looking spirit this is. Not your usual doggy old wedding car, that's for sure.